Hey guys, so we're gonna get started with this icy makeup look. First, what I'm gonna do is use this Glow Job face mask from Too Faced. This mask is a peel off glitter glow mask and I actually really do like it. It doesn't do much to the skin, but give your skin a glow. It's just really like a really nice fun mask to put on and take off. It's really easy to apply and really easy to take off and it has glitter in it, which is fun, right? <laughs> so I just put that all over my face to try it out for the first time. And then I'm gonna go in with my LA Pro Concealer and I'm gonna use that to cover out my brows. Now my brows are not done. I do that at the end for this look. So I'm just using my MAC like concealer synthetic brush to just cover out my brows and I'm applying the Pro Concealer all over my lid as a base for my eyeshadow so that my eyeshadow can pop. Now we're going into the Sapphire Obsessions palette by Huda Beauty and I'm going to use this palette today for my eyes. I'm going to take this light blue matte shade and I'm going to use a MAC fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm going to put that right above my crease and right below my brow bone. Just going back and forth with that, just making sure that the color is depositing and nothing looks patchy and just blending that out. Next we're going to go into this darker matte shade here and I'm using a pinched eyeshadow brush a, a pinched blending brush that's a little bit smaller and I'm going one notch down and I'm blending that darker blue color into the lighter blue color I'm putting this color more in my crease area just so that it gives my eye a little bit more dimension and I'm also taking uh, this shade I think this is a darker blue shade and putting it in the outer portion of my eyes just to kind of give my eyes some dimension we're just moving lower and lower on the eyelid now I'm going in with this black shade from melt cosmetics with a pencil eyeshadow brush and I'm putting that in the outer V of the eye um, moving closer and closer to the lid of the eye so I'm just really just blending that out giving my eye a little bit more depth and just making sure that there are no harsh lines. Then I'm going in with this darker blue shade from the palette and just kind of building up the color so that the black doesn't look so intense. But I do want it to like make my eyes pop, you know what I mean? So I'm bringing that color more in towards my nose as well. This is a really dramatic look too, by the way. So if you're not into it, sorry <laughs> now I'm going in with my LA Pro concealer and I'm using that same concealer brush that we use for the brows and I am carving out my cut crease um, I really like using this brush to cover up my cut crease because it makes it really easy and the LA Pro concealer makes it easy as well so I put a good amount on there and then I let it dry after I apply it so that the eyeshadows will apply properly because if you don't let your cut crease dry I promise you your eyeshadows will not go on right like they will be patchy creasy and all messed up so I have to let this dry after I do it so after it's dried I use my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero uh, palette this is the highlighting palette and I'm using a white shade uh, when I decided to do this look I was like oh my god that white shade in that Anastasia palette will be perfect for the uh, crease color because it's really white and it's really shimmery and it's very like winter like so I just put that towards the inner portion of my eye then I go on with this MAC shade this is from their holiday collection this is more of a silver color and I put that right next to the white shade just right like all over not all over my lid but in the center portion of my lid next to the white color Next, I'm gonna apply my lashes. I like to use hair glue. You do not have to use hair glue. I prefer to use hair glue um, because it works best for me, but I'm applying the 614 Lashes Stacked by Salon Perfect. They are my favorite lashes right now. And I'm applying them with my Ulta Lash Tool or Lash Tweezers. They make it really easy to apply lashes, so boom. They go on in like two seconds. I just squeeze my real lashes in with the falsies and they come out perfect. Now I am going to take this mask off. Some of it wasn't dry. I think I put too much in one area, but I just peeled it off. It was really cool. And it did have my face glowing a little bit, but I think it's honestly, this mask is just for fun. It's just really cute and fun, you know? So I just peeled that off. Now I'm going in with my Forsali Skin Tune Primer. I really do like this primer, I enjoy it. I don't just do it for Instagram, but I actually like the primer. It does help blur the skin a lot. Um, so then I put on my Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Foundation in the color 500, and I just pumped that right on my face. I've been doing that lately to save product instead of pumping it on the brush first. And then I use my Morphe like foundation brush, and I just pat 
the foundation into the skin. Ever since I've been using the Too Faced foundation, I find that every other foundation that I use is too red for me. Like this foundation runs a little bit red for me. Um, so I don't know, it'll go away in a minute, but I just noticed that because yeah, my Too Faced one is not red at all, but this one does run a little bit red on me, but it will be corrected in a second when we put my concealer down. But I'm just taking some makeup wipes just to clean up my eyeshadow a little bit so that it's not so wild. <laughs> Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, one of my favorite concealers, and applying that underneath the eye. This is going to tone the foundation down a lot and kind of take some of that redness away. When the Lancome foundation dries down, the redness does go away a little bit more, but it's still on the little red side, like it's a warm foundation. So um, applying concealer will help with that. So yeah, I'm just going in the center of my face with that concealer, like bridging my nose, forehead, chin, uh, cupid's bow area. And just applying that and now I'm using my microfiber sponge I really love this sponge guys it really makes your application of foundation concealer and everything really flawless so I'm going in I let my concealer sit for about a minute before blending it out because with the fit me concealer on me it tends to sheer out if I don't let it sit so I let it sit and then I go in with this sponge and blend all the all the areas <laughs> I can't talk all the areas that I put the concealer out just patting it into the skin so that it's like melted in there. This sponge is really good. So after I blend out everything, I go in with the Too Faced Banana Cream Press Powder. This is really good. I've been using this as my setting powder lately and I just press that into the skin. I'm not baking, I'm more so just pressing the um, powder into the skin so that my concealer sets. Um, lately, especially in the winter, I've been kind of dry so I haven't been baking with like the loose powder because it makes my skin too like dry. So <laughs> I'm just using this and it's been working pretty well. Now I'm just gonna put some eyeliner on my waterline just to define my eyes a little bit more. And I believe this is the Rimmel one that I use all the time. Now we're gonna use this lighter shade with the pinched eyeshadow brush and just apply a lot of eyeshadow on the bottom lash line. Uh, this is a dramatic look like I said before, so this is a lot of eyeshadow, but I really loved how this look came out, so. Yeah, I'm just blending that on the bottom. I feel like adding eyeshadow to the bottom of your lash line really just helps like make it come together. <laughs> now I'm using a pencil brush and using a darker shade and putting that closer to my lash line and blending those two colors together so that it looks really kind of smoky, you know? Now I'm going in with the MAC shade in a pencil brush, the MAC like silvery shade, and I'm putting that in the inner portion of my waterline just to make my eyes pop. Like I was just being really creative this day, you know? <laughs> Now I'm going in with some mascara. I'm using the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex Mascara just to put that on my lashes. Now I'm going in with my Fenty Contour Stick and I'm blending that out with my microfiber sponge. This microfiber sponge really does blend out contour really well and seamlessly. On top of that, I'm putting my Bobbi Brown Bronzer with a angled fluffy brush and I'm just setting that and just making my face a little bit more like warm and sun-kissed and giving me like a slight little contour you know just warming up the face a little bit i really love using bronzer for contour because it's a lot more subtle and now i'm going in with my laura mercier uh translucent powder and i'm just cleaning up that bronzer and contour that we put down i don't know about you but sis i'm not perfect <laughs> so my contour is never like right right off rip so i have to fix it now i'm going in with my anastasia brow pomade dip brow pomade almost forgot the name <laughs> and i'm using my zoeva wing liner brush and i'm filling in my brows now i'm using the anastasia glow kit again and just placing some of that white shade in the inner portion of my eye i just felt like it needed it and now i'm using a fan brush in that same glow kit and I'm mixing two colors. I'm using the white color and the goldish color, and I'm applying that as my highlight. This highlighter, oh my God, fire. If you're going for that dramatic highlight, bomb, like bomb. I'm just putting it on the tip of my nose as well, just to make everything pop, you know? Then I'm going in with my Fenty Lip Gloss, and I'm applying that to my lips. Now get this, if you don't have the other gloss, the white one or the silver one, I'm gonna show you what to do. Oh, grrr. use some silver eyeshadow and put it on your lips on top of your gloss bomb that you already have and look at that like look at that it looks just like it 
Oh my god guys, I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out some of these other videos that I created just for you. And make sure you check out my website that's in the description box. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!